Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. Today I'm going to be modeling this watchtower that you would find uh, probably in the jungle in some war region, but it looks like we're in a forest in North America right now because of the HDRI image uh, in behind, but I think we're just going to leave it like that. Um, in the future, I may add some, I don't know, some crates or something, some rope, some other stuff. But the purpose of this one is just to do something uh, simple with uh, planes and cubes and uh, some simple UV mapping, which gives me lots of opportunity to make mistakes and do dumb things. Um, and uh, I just think it looks, it looks nice. So if you're a relative beginner and you want to try something fun like this, uh, then uh, just, just follow along. The HDRI image, which is the what you see in the background, the trees and stuff like that, is the only thing providing light. There are no other uh, lamps uh, in this scene, and so you can get some really nice uh, lighting uh, with this. Um, and a great source is over here at HDRI Haven, okay? And you can get uh, free, um, good quality HDRI images. Uh, and you can choose whichever one uh, you want that would look good uh, in the background of something something like this. All right, so um, I'll show you how I how I model this thing. All right, so over here in Blender in the startup scene, um, my screencast keys are on, and I'm going to switch over to Cycles Render uh, because we will be using nodes. And I am going to I think I'll, I'll delete the camera and the lamp for now and we'll just have this this cube here so i'm going to go into edit mode and i'm going to scale this down and let's uh, zoom in on that a little bit and we'll just bring it up to there and uh, maybe we'll scale it more okay so i'm going to grab the top face of this and i'm going to look from the front view and I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to arbitrarily bring it up and I'll bring it up to there. All right. So that's going to be one of my main legs. Now, actually, the more I think about it, maybe it doesn't have to be that high. I'll go up to there. All right. I'm going to grab the bottom face there and I'm going to scale and zoom in a bit, not too much, just so it's angled a bit like that. I take this top and I'm going to scale it a bit and like that. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get rid of the uh, grid underneath there. Where the heck is it? Where is uh, that's what I'm looking for? Grid floor. All right, so we got that. Now let's look down from the top. I think I'm going to move this down to about there and maybe out to there. We'll try that because I'm going to mirror this over here and over here. And what I'll do is, is uh, my 3D cursor is still right in the middle. My uh, origin is right there. I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor. All right. And that's going to allow me to mirror this. So I'm going to come over to the modifiers and choose mirror in the X and in the Y. And just look at this and see. Okay, I think that may be a little bit too wide. So I'm just going to come in and if I hit a tab to select, it'll only select my original one. And when I move it, the mirrored ones will move. So I'm going to do this. I think I'll do that and I'll try it coming up to, yeah, we'll do like that, like a square. That's much better. Okay. So we'll have that for those main pillars. And then what we'll do is I'm not going to apply that yet. I'm going to go shift a and bring in another cube. And then bring it up, go to edit mode, scale this in the Z, SZ, relatively thin like that. And let's scale, but not in the Z, Shift Z, S Shift Z, to bring it out so it fits over those. And I'll just bring it down. I'm not going to get rid of uh, faces. All right, so that would be there. Okay, so what I'm going for is these things and uh, this part right now and then we'll do these all right well um yeah that's just fine let's take this piece and reuse it let's go shift d and bring it down and go into edit mode and let's take this and maybe let's we'll push it pull it over to here we got the approximate thickness of the beam i want to use there all right, and we'll grab this piece and we'll pull it up a bit. 
uh, that kind of thing. All right, that's, uh, that's not the exact position that I'm going to want it or anything. Um, because I started with my um, with a, a, this item actually, this object, and I duplicated it, the origin is still here even for this selected piece. So I'm going to set origin to the geometry to this new piece and I'll pull it in and just get a sense for whether or not I would like it there. I don't want it the exact same width. Uh, I think I want it thinner. Right? I don't want it to, to sit underneath. I'm doing these pieces here. Okay, so I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm going to data select it all. I'm going to scale in the X and do something like that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Do that and then I'm going to replicate that over time. It doesn't need to be touching. Now, I think I'm going to put on ambient occlusion just to help me viewing uh, some shadows and stuff. Uh, so I'll do that. And then you can see, I can I can see the division a little bit better. It looks a bit more realistic. I'm going to go ahead and start saving this. Models outside. Uh, I'm going to call this, I'll call this Watchtower Video. All right, so we'd have that piece and then I'll replicate around. And uh, these pieces, hmm, whether I want them the same or not, Okay, that's cool so far. Let's uh, let's get to work with uh, UV mapping this stuff. So, all right. So here's what we would do. I'm going to select that piece, and I'm going to go Shift H to hide everything else, and hit the period key to focus in on that item itself. I don't need to move my 3D cursor or anything. Uh, I'm going to split my window here. Pull that aside. With my cursor over here, I'm going to hit T. That'll close the Tools panel, and over here, T again. I'm going to switch this to a UV image editor and down here I'm going to click open and I'm going to navigate to where I have a wood texture and I tend to get my textures from cgtextures.com and uh, you can get them wherever you want. And what have I done? Documents, Blender, Reference Images, Textures and I'm just going to use, what wood did I use? This wood. It's the same wood that I used, I think, in my uh, rowboat, which I called a sailboat. It's really a rowboat. I didn't put any sails on it. Okay, anyways, uh, I've got that image of the, in there in the UV uh, image editor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this piece, and I'm going to go into edit mode. And I can really select the whole thing because what I want to do, I'll show you. In edge selection, I want to select all the outside edges. All right. I can just actually do that, all right, and that selects all the edges. And now it looks like, oh, well, you got the faces too. But I mean, if you if you select all the edges around there, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna get that face anyhow. Let me watch when I do another one. You see, so so it's the same thing. So that's fine. And then uh, um, these things that are highlighted in green, the edges, and it may look a different color in yours if you've got a different theme uh, going in Blender or different colors. Uh, what, what we need to do is we need to mark those seams. So all we do is we hit, um, what is it, is it Shift-E, Control-E? Yeah, Control-E, and then choose Mark Seam, and that'll change the color for those. All right, you can see that. And that's all we have to do for that. So now to UV map it, similar, or simple. A to select it all and U and choose unwrap and, and it'll it'll go there. Now really what I have is I have um, here I can choose uh, da, 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 which one is it? I think it's this one. Keep UV edit and edit mode mesh selection in sync. I click on that and I I, I, I click on on you know, face selection anyhow that face it'll show me which one is is on my UV map, or if I select it here, I can tell that's the back. So the big ones are the backs. The, the, these ones are the sort of the sides, and these ones are, are the ends. And we'll see what manipulation we need to do in a moment. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to material view, but I don't see the wood texture on there yet, just like when I did the rowboat. And that's because we need to come over, and I just use the, the, the wheel on the mouse to, to move this along change the this to uh, node editor and to close this part here and there's no material on here yet so in order to do this we need a material so I'm going to click new down here and of course I'm in cycles render that's important new and that'll put down the default material and these nodes uh, but we want an image now, this is just a color here we want an image so I'm going to add or shift a shift a 
shader, um, no, sorry, texture, image texture, drag it over here and connect color to color. Now it goes dark because there's no image selected yet. I'm gonna click on here, right here, and I'm gonna choose the wood, which it was brought in earlier to the UV image editor, so it's in memory, so I'm gonna click that, and right away we can see some wood on there. And uh, I'll go back into object mode, and then we can see that the, the, that side and that side looks okay. Um, we might wanna do something with these ends. Uh, I may not like that side, but on the other hand, I think it looks okay like that. So let's just look at that. Let's go back to the UV image editor. Let's go into edit mode and let's select that piece and say, well, maybe we don't like, first of all, we don't like that line in the middle. So just hit G to go grab and move it over there. Go back to object mode so you can see it. Now, do we like the grain running like that? Do we need to turn it? Let's, let's try it. Let's try R90. And let's see if that looks any better. No, that doesn't look any better. So let's undo that. All right. That looks fine because we're not going to see that up close or anything. Uh, so that's fine for me for that, for that piece. Now, um, we're going to do more with materials later. So let's just go shift uh, or alt H to bring back everything else. And we can see that piece in there. Now I'm going to be replicating this piece. Uh, and I suppose I could do that right now. So let's take it and let's go Shift D and let's bring it over to this side. And I think I'm gonna drag on these um, angled lines until I get that arrow and release. And go back to just the full screen here. Of course, I've, I've got T, I've got the toolbar closed right now. Let's have a look at that. Okay, now, so I got the back side here showing which might be cool to, to have a bit of a difference. Um, I'm gonna do some more though. Um, I'm going to uh, take this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this by hand. Shift D, rotate Z, RZ 90, and then we're gonna move it. That's oh, not the way I wanted to move it initially. I'm gonna move it out to here, and I want, uh, this one maybe is going to be shorter. So I'm just going to go ahead and select it all and go scale in the Y. That's going to change the, the UV mapping a little bit and move it, but hopefully we'll be okay. Let's put it, uh, let's see what, okay, three, right? Okay, scale this in the Y. So it's on the inside of these and I'll push it in a bit. So it looks like it's like that. And now what we can do is I can select it again and we'll, open up this UV image editor again, choose UV. And if the image seems to disappear, just, just go back to there, all right? So there it is. Um, I only care, I think, about that face. So what I could do is I can take this G and just move it to another spot, let's say there, and see if I like that. It looks good to me. All right, so that's in there. Uh, how close is it to those? Let's push it in a little bit more. So it touches those and we see a bit more of the ends there. Yeah, okay, cool. We'll do the same thing. I'm gonna take this one, shifty. I'm gonna bring it over to this side. Hit the period key to focus in on that. And yeah, maybe I, could, I could have that on the inside as well, I suppose. And just to be kind of cool, why don't we change the length of one of these? Can I select just the end? Pull it out and make it just a little bit, some difference to this thing. All right, so you know, I don't think you're reusing those uh, positions. Now, I mean, if it did bother you that that was visible, you could just take this and, not that one. That's what I got going on, just that. G and move it to another spot and you get a different, uh, you know, a different grain and that kind of thing. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this top part here. This will be a little bit different. I'm gonna go to edit mode, it's just a cube, it's all selected, so I'm gonna go control E, mark seam, U, unwrap, and I get this. Uh, again, I can't see it yet, so I'm gonna go back to the node editor 
And uh, do, 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 I think I can probably actually just apply that material. <laughs> just like that, actually. Okay, because this is saved as a material, and, and I'm going to be using the same material, but the UV positioning will be different for them. But it's just saying, okay, use the wood texture, uh, and that's it for them for now. We're going to be doing more with that. Okay, I will go back to the UV uh, image editor, though, and we'll look down at this, and we'll see. Okay, now, um, where's the front? There's the front. I think I want this grain coming this way, if that's the front. So there's the top and there's the bottom. I'm gonna do those for now, all right? So we're gonna uh, rotate 90 and that's gonna do that for both of them. And we're gonna scale this. I wanna scale it bigger so that those planks are a bit smaller. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. However, this edge right here, normally that grain, like these would be separate pieces of wood, right? That that line would come down here and down there and down there. And so we can we can work on that. What I'm gonna do is select that piece there. Okay, and I see which one it is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rotate 90, first of all and G, and I'm gonna move it. And I'm gonna move it, let's zoom in a bit, so that you can see these lines here. I'm gonna to have to scale it as well. I think I'm gonna scale it bigger. And I'm gonna to try to line them up. I may have some trouble. I may have done, made a mistake there. Let's deselect and look at that. Okay, so I got, one, two, three. Okay, let's go again. And I had three there, and I can see them. One, two, three. So what I want to do is I want to make it bigger, right? So I got to get at least four lines in there, and then I think move it, grab. Getting closer. Could just be moving in one axis if I really cared to do that. <clears throat> Let's look at one. Oh, I can't see it. All right. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's try uh, G Y. Just about got it there. I think. You know, this because this is a dark piece, it doesn't exactly work, but I, I am okay with that. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's do the other side, although I'm not gonna see that side, but just because we should. There's that piece. What I'll do is I'll rotate 90. G, I'll bring it up close to this. And I'll scale it. I'll try to get it pretty similar. enough for what we need to do all right cool so we got that part that part and now we're going to do these parts um, I'm just trying to decide if I have a problem with it mirrored I think we will apply now let's try it like this select it all control E mark seam you unwrap. 
let's apply that wood material. Yeah, and you'll notice that the grain is running this way and they're all the same. All right, well, we'll decide if we don't want them all the same. Let's rotate 90. All right, so what I see here, uh, and that's a nice thing about using the mirror is this one, it's sometimes hard to see, but I can see it on the, on the other ones. Um, I see this line here, so um, where is that? Looks like it's in one of these. And, and so what I'll do is I'm gonna just grab this, I'm gonna move that one there. Grab this, move it here. Deselect, okay, come on. Grab that one and move it down like that. And let's see how those are going. Which piece is causing trouble? That's okay, that's okay, and that's okay. Maybe all right. All right, so dark on that side, dark's on all the sides. So what we'll do is let's apply the mirror. Let's go back in, select one of these. Control L doesn't work, I guess, because we marked seams. Normally you could uh, select linked. Maybe there's something I don't know, but I'm just gonna go Control plus uh, until I got everything. Probably could have box, just box selected that. And um, actually really what I wanna do, I think, is this is the one selected here, eh? I just don't want this dark part there, so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna just move it down here and now it's a little different than the other one okay like that okay cool so that's fine with me let's see the, where's the front the front's there anyhow awesome let's save now we are going to be putting a bevel on so we can have a look at that uh, bevel and i'm going to go to and scale it quite a bit down just so that it's not you know completely sharp maybe something like that and i'm just going to do um right here it's just that modifier so i think what i'll do is i'll select the top and then i'll select this and i'll go Control l modifiers and i'll get the same bevel on that one it's not overly visible and that one and that one Control l modifiers this one, this doesn't matter which one I choose. Some modifiers. So we'll all have the same bevel. Okay, how's that? Okay, so very simple. Hopefully we like it. Okay, so that line is in the front view, right? I'm just seeing this line here is in the front view, so I think I'm gonna to have to change that. Select that face, yeah, you see the line right in the middle there? So just G, move it to somewhere else. And I like that even better. I just think I want it, I want, I want a front view. I'm gonna try something here. See if I like this. I think I am gonna like that better. Some, some different stuff. All right, so that goes there. And I think this one needs to come out. So I'm stretching them a little bit, but I'm not, it's not causing too much of a problem. Texture stretching a bit, but it's all, it's all right. Let's see, is that what I wanted? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, let's do that. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll take um, one of these pieces. This one's in front for you. Yeah, that one's, that's a nice one. So it's shifty. I'm going to copy it and bring it up. Let's make this bigger window again. And let's go into edit mode and select it all. Scale this in the Y a little bit. And we're going to, um, uh, let's rotate Y90. And um, I did that in object mode, so I'm going to go Control A, rotation and scale. And now let me just double check. So there's the front. Okay, so we're going to work on the sides first. So I'm going to do it again. Rotate the Z90. I'm not going to apply rotation again. 
um, but I am going to bring this up until it sort of fits and then I'm going to shorten this and uh, you know we may have to work on the textures we may not uh, I just want to maybe that height I think it still looks fine all right and so I'm going to put that there for the moment which I always say and um, I'm just going to take this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift D and I'm going to copy it over to here I'm not going to array this and uh, do that something like that I want them a little bit off um, but now it's the exact same texture so I'm, I'm going to split my window again go back into the UV image editor go into edit mode and um, I really want to move sort of just the front and the back. I don't care about the sides. Uh, so let's get down here and let's just G, let's move it. Now you, uh, you'll notice that the, uh, you know, the wood texture is not visible right now. So I'll just do that again. Uh, okay, that's the darkest shade. That's fine with me though. I'm gonna make like three or four variations of this. So I got that piece there and um, we'll just go G and move that up to, here, so I'm just not getting any of these dark lines. I should have done that when I did the rowboat, uh, but I didn't. It was dumb. Okay, so I got that piece and that piece. I'm not exactly thrilled with that color, so yeah, because it's in there. Maybe I'll go up to here. How's that look? Maybe better. Okay, let's take that Shift D, make a color copy of it. And he looks exactly the same, so we'll go in, we'll take that face, and G will come down here. That's got a knot in it there, that looks okay. We'll do the back, although we'll never see the back. G, just move it a bit. How's that? That's okay with me. Let's do one more, Shift D. Move it to there. Okay. Maybe this one will only change the front. We'll see. Let's come down to here. G. Um, does that look too much like this one? I don't think so. No, I better do the back. I can also, I could, uh, I could just rotate this all the way around. What am I doing? There we go. If you think that will be helpful, let's go with that though. Cool. Uh, let's close out for now. For now. All right, so let's take um, this, 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 and this. And I'm going to actually join them together. Control J. And then a Shift D. Copy them to here. And hopefully it's not going to look too repetitive. It's just, yeah. I could also, uh, I can also rotate X uh, 180. And look at my origins better. I'm going to put a top on there so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take uh, one more. I'll take this one, Shift D. I'm going to bring it to here. Perfect. Now I'm going to take all three of these and you know what? Let's join them. Control J. And then let's Shift D and bring them over to here. And now the back side will be on the outside for this one. So that might be beneficial. Yeah, this is probably got to go over here more. We'll work on the final positions in a bit. Uh, and I take it again, Shift D, rotate Z90. Move it back here. And I take it, Shift D, and I'm going to move it up to here. And then we're going to be deleting some of these. Uh, I can tell right away that I'm not going to need this piece. Control plus a bunch of times, X faces. We're getting rid of that one. 
But what we'll do in the meantime is we'll take one of these and we'll go Control plus 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 till we get select everything. And I'm gonna go Shift D and P to make it a new object by selection. So it's a new object. So I click on it that's independent of these ones, okay? But my transform tool is remembers these ones. So I'm going to hit T to open the side panel or the tool panel and origin of geometry. All right, so I got that there. And what I want to do here is I want to make this bigger. I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to scale this. Uh, uh, actually, let's let's just uh, scale this in the X for the moment and make it sort of a square like that. And then we'll take the top and we'll bring it up. What just happened there? Why did we go up that high? Yeah, okay. Um, and then we'll bring the whole thing up a little bit to rest on here. And we're just, just going to have a look. I'll, I'll work on those textures in a bit. Uh, I just want to see the positioning. Not quite where I want it yet. I want it in there and about there. But kind of equal. That's close enough. And I don't want anything perfect. So I'm going to come into here. And I'm going to select that piece. I'm going to go Control Plus a bunch of times. X faces. That one can shut into there like that. Okay. This one's looking all right. Uh, positioning, we'll see. Of course, I'm going to uh, have this more central like that. And obviously, this piece here. Control plus a bunch of times. Delete faces. Yep, like that. Let's do some saving. Okay, cool. I like that. Let's look from the top view. Uh, let's just go ahead and start copying this by eye. All right, and trying not to get it uh, perfect. Shift D. Let's look from the top. Okay, okay. This thing, a bit more central. That. Let's come in here. Not to that. That. Select that face. Control plus a bunch of times. X faces. And same on this side. Control plus X faces. Okay, not crazy about this piece being in there. So let's see if we can move this whole thing and 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 uh, all right, like that. Eh? Okay, so 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 so. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'll leave that where it is. I'm going to take this, select that face, control plus X faces. And I'm just going to move this central because there's going to be a top beam on top of that. And so it doesn't matter if it doesn't quite touch. Okay, where am I at? i got to work on this side here. Let's try moving it so that one just, just makes contact. And then get rid of these ones on the end. That one and that one. And we'll see about that other one. X faces. All right. I can scale this in the Y if I want a tiny bit, just like, you know, just, just enough. You know, no piece of wood is gonna be cut exactly the same, especially not if you're out in the jungle or the American forest, as I said. Now this one, that's the front, right? All right, yeah. What I'm gonna do for this one is, 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 is I'm gonna bring it, now. no, I think I'm gonna do this way. I'm gonna want three here. Was three? One, two, three, yeah. Do three there, and we're gonna select all these extra ones. I think there's one inside there too. Well, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of the fourth one here. All right, cool. 
I can uh, put origin and geometry again on those. And I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to shift D, copy it. And bring that over there. But I don't want the exact same pattern. Or is it? Yeah, it is. So how about I rotate Z 180, not 90. Rotate Z 180. And we'll see. Yeah, we get a different pattern. Cool. Right? Like that. Okay, now. So this isn't good, is it? Scale Y, hold shift, just to get it a bit bigger. Looks okay. And that's okay. And the front's okay. Cool. All right, let's take one of these and go to edit mode. Select this one and control plus a bunch of times. We're going to copy this, shift D, P to make it a new object. Select it and do origin and geometry. And let's rotate this to make the, the top piece. Now, did I do that at the front? Yeah, I did it at the front as well. All right, so let's um, rotate, rotate X 90. I wanted to do. All right, let me rotate it again. Uh, rotate Z90. That's better. All right. I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to scale this. I want to see how the textures do. I still got to work on these textures a little bit. Uh, select it all and scale this in the Y, but not too much. Let's grab. Um... All right, I'll grab this piece and push it in like that. And I don't want this the same. I want this to have some difference, so let's just see what that looks like. If it's maintained its thickness, okay. I think I want this thinner than um, than this board here, this piece here. Scale this in the Y, basically like that. over to this side okay now exact same is that a problem do you not like that let's do origin geometry let's try rotate the rotate x 180 you like that better I'm going to take this piece, shift D, and pull it back here. Period key to zoom in. And it's about the right height here, so I'm just going to extend it across. I'm going to select that face, pull it across. Now, let's look at that texture. If you thought that texture was stretched too much, you could go into it, go back to the UV image editor, T and T. Oops. All right, and we could. Which way do I want to go? I'm scale it bigger. Yeah, you could do something like that. Um, let's see if I moved any. Well, that, looks, that looks okay. All right, you could do something like that. And um, I'll use this piece to make the sides. Well, let's do uh, origin geometry. You know. Shift D, rotate Z90. So I want roughly centered on that, so I just want to make sure that these things. This thing may have to come back under it properly or reasonably. And it doesn't have to be the exact same distance. It's kind of cool if it if it's a bit different. I'll make it a bit more. All right, that ends touching. Cool. Let's take this and bring it to the other side. Yeah, I see that. 
this piece isn't the same, same distance underneath. It doesn't really matter though. Um, you know, and uh, if we don't like the same pattern there, you can move stuff around. You can try to rotate this. Let's try uh, rotate X 180. Does that look any good? I get that line. No, that doesn't look like anything else. All right, so let's just go in and maybe just work on the top of this. All right, and just, just that piece there. And if you want to see, load that. And yeah, see the line there? Cheese grab, bring it to there. that that's fine cool not sure I like this right here right in the middle of the uh, of the doorway there and there it is so can I move that up to there what if it was there I may possibly oh yeah that changes Changes that, eh? And that? Yeah, all right, maybe we're gonna keep it. Yep, this is one of those things. It's like a birthmark. I don't feel like changing the, all that stuff. Okay, so, but I, uh, these things are looking a little bit stretched, I think. If I do that, though, I'm gonna cross into some lines. So I think I'm going to leave that, but I'll have a look at these. I really don't need those. I don't have to worry. Actually, let's take that and just move it up here. What about these? What if I scale that? Oh, I missed that one. If I scale these. Yeah, here's what we'll do. We'll scale them, and then we'll just try to make sure we're not over a line. I'll do that. 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 That one's okay. Does that look all right, or does that look funny to you? It looks like sort of like an old, old game. That's kind of the look I'm going for. I'm not really too worried about it. I can make some differences too. Yeah, so that the backs don't always look the same. this part what about the sides I mean I'm only going to render it from one particular position and this but oh what did I do did I make a copy of it no not yet shift D just want to bring that up to here that's cool uh, we're gonna be going in the node editor in a minute or the UV image editor I just want to do that but I will see if I can do something different here no I won't not sure what to do yet so I didn't want to mess around with with both of these or all of these let's I could let's get move them all at the same time let's try this
I'm not going to see that end, so I'm not going to worry about it. How's that? It's the same though here. I was just thinking, I don't know if I like that darkness there. I don't know if it's a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's going to look just fine. Okay. Very simple, uh, as you can tell. Um, but now what we'll do is we'll take... We'll take one of these pieces again. We'll take that, shift D, bring it out. Rotate X90, we'll go into it, select it, scale this, let's zoom in on that, scale it in the Y. I'm gonna scale it in the X and we'll look at the, the uh, texture in a bit. Let's get rid of this. Okay, like the supports to hold this thing. Okay, these things here. So I'm gonna do the, the horizontal ones first. And uh, scale this in the axe a little bit. Okay, so let's do, uh, we'll get the texture first. Uh, you know, it's just, depends how much time you want to put into making your textures look different. Let's scale this. And let's see if I got a line. I okay, got that line there. Everything else looks pretty much okay. So let's just do that front face for now. Although I'll be rotating this. And let's load that image again. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, is that it? Yeah. G and just move it out. Okay, okay. Let's go with with that. Looks a bit wimpy though, tell you the truth. I kind of want it a bit uh, taller. Not much, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, let's try Shift D. Bring it over to this side. Change the position a little bit. Okay, Shift D, rotate Z, 90. Okay, and this one. It'll be pretty similar. Let's see which is the front and the side is like that. Yeah, that's a okay. I'm going to take them all, Shift D, and I'm going to move them down. Let's try rotating them. Rotate Z 180. No, three. Uh, what am I doing? Y. Uh, rotate Y 180. We'll do that to some of them, not all of them. And we'll bring this one up. And we'll bring this one down. Okay, 
Yeah. I should look a little bit different. Okay, good enough. And where's the front again? There's the front. So what we'll do is we're gonna take this piece here, Shift D. Get rid of this for now. Go to edit mode, scale this in the X. I think that's what I wanna do, I think. I'm gonna uh, rotate this in the Y. I'll just sort of position this in. there and uh, I probably didn't want to scale it like that that's okay to there yeah I'm gonna make it uh, gonna rotate this in the Y again and I'm gonna kind of want it to go from roughly there Select that, go back to the UV image editor. No, no, sorry, not that. Pull it. Interesting. Okay, I guess I rotated it in a weird way too. Let's go back to material view. Okay, that's all right with me. All right, so let's take this and let's go, uh, uh, we'll just copy it for now and put it over here. Copy that, rotate Z90. Wise, I don't think it's a problem. Shifty. Okay, so it goes up, up, and that goes the other way up. Mm. That's a little bit different than what I had. Up. Do I care? I might as well switch it. Rotate the Y. X, right? Rotate in the X, swing it around, and just get it to make contact. Have it look a little bit off here and there. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then let's take uh, this piece, Shift D, we'll bring it up. And I'm going to rotate X like this. And I don't want it going through the ceiling, but I hopefully it won't. Uh, maybe uh, I'll go here. I want it to go roughly in there. And so I'm just going to bring it out and just shorten it a bit. Just by eye. That might have been too much. We're going to find out. Uh, let's rotate the X a bit more. 
see if we can get this. Oh, geez, I did that again, didn't I? Three, let's try one. Yeah, I did, didn't I? All right, uh, rotate in the Z and try to straighten her out a bit. And again, if it's not straight, that's, that's actually cool. What's that? Collides with the other one. Let's put her on the inside there. Yep. Shift D. Is it the same angle? I want it. Actually, you know what? I want it more. Rotate the X. I want it more like this. So we'll play with this until we get it. This uh, this won't help me, will it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't. Right now it does. Okay. Actually, that's not what I want. I want. I do want it making contact with uh, with that. So <laughs> maybe back where I started. Oh, did I just do the same thing I did before? Probably didn't, but I thought I did. That's good enough. All right, that's okay. So I want that one there. And this one, let's get rid of that. And let's go back to Chloe. Shifty. Rotate Z 180. Bring it over here. Okay, that one could be in front of that, perhaps. through the floor, and that's okay. Cool, we're getting there. It takes a bit of time. It's gotta be a little bit off, eh? We'll do something else in a minute too. Uh, okay, where am I? Uh, that, that, that. That. Shift D, rotate Z ninety. Okay. I'll take that guy. Shift D. Using all the same textures on these. Rotate Y, what, 180? No. Rotate Y, 90? Ah, jeez. Really weird today. Uh, maybe just because I got that in mind. Because I don't have um, origin geometry too, that'll affect things. But I don't really care because I just I want some some differences in this so it looks cool. Maybe not quite that different though. Yep, yep, that's what I'm going for. Uh, I was thinking as well. Good. First of all, we'll do this. If it was even visible, what if I did this? What if I went in and let's close this. 
added a couple of edge loops. <laughs> Otherwise, screwed up my. Oh, that's interesting. It's not. Uh, it's not straight anyhow. That's that's fine. That's fine anyhow. And uh, got rid of that. Okay, so let's do it like that. Yeah, X faces, and then I'll uh, cap the ends. It's terrible to do with UVs on, but doesn't matter. It's gonna be look. This gonna look fine anyhow. I hope. Uh, that kind of thing, and then uh, put a couple of edge loops here and a couple of edge loops here, or a different amount, whatever, and then start just pulling things like like that, and that, and like this, no, oh, not like that, this one, and this one, you know, so it looks kind of broken, and uh, I'll pull this one out. And pull, uh, I don't know, pull that one out too. And this one out. Like that. And then maybe I'll throw another edge loop in here. And that'll pull the textures like crazy. Uh, we'll, co we'll come back and we'll see how bad, how they look. Okay. All right. So it uh, doesn't look too bad. Um, I can, of course, I can UV this again oh what I would want to do is I'll select this edge all the way around here and I'll go control E mark seam again on that stuff and I'll do the same on this side control E mark seam there we go select them all UV image editor and that looks all weird admittedly but uh, and I'm just gonna go U unwrap like that. Ah. Ah, not that. Oh yeah, well, then we're gonna have to turn them. Okay, and then I'm gonna rotate 90 and just see if it's acceptable. I get that line, but I don't think I mind that. And then what I would do is I'd take uh, one of these, I'll go in here and I'll select this control plus 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 plus, and I'm gonna uh, rotate X and do this kind of thing. Just to, just trying to show you some. Uh, I don't know if that looks any good. That looks terrible. Now let's uh, let's all do this as well. Uh, and uh, we will. I mean, I could. Uh, I could instead. I could uh, select. Um, say these two back faces, maybe even, and go Shift S uh, cursor to selected and move my 3D cursor to there, and then I'll select it all. And then I can just rotate in the X, rotate X, and then it'll go down like that. It's probably better to do it that way. I'll just, I'm just going to leave those that way, like that. How's that image to texture? Maybe I don't like like this, the, these faces here. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll just move those around. Uh, or is there any, or is there just one that I don't like? I don't really like those two. If I do that, no, nope, that's not what I want. Actually, it's just that one. Because of that line. How about that? Will it look natural? It's good enough. Yeah, I don't know if it is. Is it? Well, if I move this one down as well. Inside it. That's fine. That's fine with me. Yep, that's fine with me. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna get out of that. I don't care. I'm gonna rotate the X. Is gonna do it that way. So there you go, like that. Okay, and then we'll uh, do a quick ladder. And I'll build it out of uh, this piece here. Shift D, bring it out. And let's make the rungs first. Um, let's uh, scale this in the X. 
this a little bit different so UV show the image where am I all right um, scale it like that go oh, I'm gonna get no I'll scale it scale it like that yep now, I want all my steps to look exactly the same, you know. Let's apply rotation and scale in case we need to, and set origin to geometry. Let's try an array modifier and see what she's like in the Z. Let's go up this way. Zero there. Let's uh, bring it down to maybe there. See how she looks like this. That's about the right amount, anyhow. I could change up those steps too. At the exact same thickness as this stuff. I'll leave it like that though. Let's copy that, bring it out, get rid of the array though. And take that one and let's um, rotate Y 90 and go in, select it all, scale this in the Y to make it thicker, maybe not that thick. Let's just see if that would fit. And um, let's just drag it up and then we'll, we'll look at the texture. And the size of everything, etc. Yeah, I like that. Okie dokie now. You know, the texture doesn't look that bad for sort of the kind of look that I'm going for. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to bring it over here. But maybe I'll rotate it around. Rotate Z180. Let's see if that side looks a bit different and if it looks okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, now, is it all right to have these rungs like that? First of all, I'm gonna apply that. And I could, if I want, I can go into one of these faces and I can change it. different oops what did I do there we go all right let's give you the idea uh, and then I'm going to take them and I'm going to join it. Control J. And let's get rid of this. We're doing really well. We're almost done anyhow. T, let's set orange into geometry. And let's just angle this. Rotate in the X. Just like this. Pull it back. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm basically going for. All right, let's go shift C just to bring the 3D cursor back to the middle. We're almost done. Okay, so let's get, if I just go, uh, well, I'll bring in a camera. First of all, I'll show you. If I bring in a camera and I pull it back here and I'm from the front. N and then choose lock camera to view and close that zero to look through the camera 
And I'm going to want a view something like this. Hit the home button to maximize that. Something like this. I don't want too much of the roof showing. Oh, I, didn't, I don't think. Well, maybe I do. I'll zoom in a bit anyhow. You know, something like this. Shift Z. It's dark as heck. Let's see if I can get a similar. Uh, oh, I did it from below. That's why. Yeah, sorry about that. That's a better view anyhow. Yeah, similar to something like that. Okay, so we need some light in there, and I'm going to use um, an HDR image like I showed you at the beginning from that site. So uh, the way we'll set this up is in the node editor. Uh, I'm going to choose node editor, and I'm going to click on the world here. And to close that. And we're going to click use nodes, and it's going to put down default nodes for the background. And I go shift A, texture, environment texture. I'm going to connect color to there, and let's look at Shift Z, by the way. And it's going to go all weird, and then we are going to find an HDR image to use. Okay, and the one I'm going to use is which one? I'm going to try this one. Okay. Is that the one? <laughs> is that where you want your watchtower? Uh... Mm, is there another one that I prefer? Let's try this one. Jeez, I'm under the canopy. Oh boy. I don't know what I had before. Yeah, we're not going to use that one. Well, you just find one that fits your purpose. one I used. Well, we'll go back to this one anyhow. Just to, just to demonstrate what uh, what we've got. Okay, let's uh, pull this closed and get a proper view. You know, and what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll do a test a test render, and I'll I'll stop the camera, and we'll come back and we'll have a look at it. All right. Well, this is what we have with that HDR image without doing some more work on the materials, and I intend to do some more work on the materials. Um, but anyways, looking very cool. So let's uh, let's continue to to uh, work on the materials. All right. Get out a camera view. Um, all right, so what I want to do is I want to do some work on this wood material here. All right, so I am going to actually stay in camera view for now. I'm going to switch this over to the node editor and to close that. And this is all we have so far. So let's go shift Z so we can still look at that. And I'll, I'll think about that HDR image in a bit. Let's add some glossiness here. Actually, let's zoom in so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, um, Shift A, I'm gonna add a shader, mix shader, and I'm gonna drop it right there. Shift A, I'm gonna add another shader, glossy, I'm gonna put it there, and I'm gonna connect this to this. And it's gonna go like that. I'm gonna drag this down to almost zero, and I, just so I get a tiny bit of that. Now, again, this is just the way that I do it. There's better ways to do it. But that's what that's the effect that I want to get. Let's say 0 0.02 even. All right. Let's also put uh, some bump on this. Shift A, texture, image texture. I'm going to be using that the wood itself, using non-color data. I'm going to connect the color to the displacement, and it's going to go berserk. It's going to look very cool, but a little bit too much. All right. So in order to control that. Um, this is my way of doing it. I'm going to add a converter math, and I'm going to switch this to power. And I'm going to set this a uh, to a low amount and put that there. Let's zoom back in. I'm going to set this to 0 0.1. So I get a little bit of bump now. 
maybe too much, but I like I like it for now. Okay, and we all have a tendency when we're learning something new to go overboard, right? All right, so that's basically what I want to be doing here. Uh, it's just a question of trying to find uh, the HDR image that I was uh, using before. So uh, give me a minute to uh, search around uh, for that, and I'll see if I can see if I can find it. So what's happened here is um, I think when I originally built the model, I just built it on a different, uh, you know, in a different direction. And so a different part of the, my HDR image was showing up in, in the background of this. So I've just, I've just rotated my model around to an area that I think is okay or similar to the first one, all right? Um, so I've got, I've got that uh, right there. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to render this again, but just one other thing I want to do is I'm going to come into the world icon here and I'm going to set the strength actually to maybe 0 0.7 or something like that. I'll make it a little bit darker. All right. And rendering, I'm just going to render at 200 samples for now. Uh, we can do 250 if we really want to. All right. And 80% is fine for me for now. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to render that. And then we can we can have a look uh, at it. It's a little bit of the huts thing there, but whatever. That's fine for now. Okay. Here's my render. All right. I just moved uh, the camera again a little bit. All right. So I wanted to show this broken piece, and and anyways, uh, that's it. You know. So it's a lot of fun just using uh, uh, one wood texture and a bunch of uh, a bunch of cubes. All right, so I hope uh, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.